Let's bring in Nicole D'Amico to the conversation tonight, a designated early childhood educator and one of the QP workers who's actually impacted by this negotiation. Nicole, walk us through your reaction to the developments today. How have you been feeling with the response from the Ford government? Um, it's it's very nerve wracking and we're actually quite disappointed that um, the, the government isn't willing to come to the table and uh, make a deal with us. Minister Lecce says she's imposing this legislation to keep kids in class. But what are the challenges you have faced over the last four or five years in the classroom that your union is trying to address here with this negotiation? Well, one of the biggest challenges that we are facing, um, there's actually very two very important issues going on right now. Uh, currently, we definitely need some job security. Our students need the supports from all of these support workers. And unfortunately, um, they are slowly dwindling and getting um, pulled back and pulled back. So it looks like job security to us, but it is actually really essential for our neediest students to have um, support staff in the classrooms. How many students are you working with on a day-to-day -day basis here? Um, currently, I work in a kindergarten classroom and uh, I am supporting 29 students. 29 students. And, and I know part of the call is to have more QP workers hired here. How, how crucial is that, not only for the, the staff, but for the students who are learning? Sorry, you cut up there. Can you say that again? Sorry about that, Nicole. I was just saying, how crucial is it to hire more staff, not only for you as a worker currently, but for the students who are learning? Oh, it's essential for our students, um, especially when it comes to EAs. They support our neediest, our most vulnerable students, um, and having them in our classrooms helps them learn, and it also helps all of our other students learn by providing a safe environment for everyone that attends our schools. And finally, Nicole, what do you say to all of the angry parents who are upset about the reality of a strike on Friday? What's the reality QP workers are facing when it comes to pay? I completely understand their frustrations. Um, like over the last 10 years, I have been taking, I've, and due to inflation, I have taken a significant pay cut. Our students are our first and foremost responsibility. We love our students. We are fighting for better educations for them, as well as ensuring that they have educators that are only working one job, that are well rested and ready to be um, available for our students.